All right. Now, I, you may know this about coming on cue, but the, the team here is, you know, unparalleled in their ability to dig up good nuggets, not just good quotes. Um, but here's one. I read uh, for, in my research that they provided me that you once tried to dye your hair white like Frank Sinatra's hair looked in the late 1960s. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more, <laughs> it was more silver gray color. I remember he, he shared that exact same color with my Uncle Harry and I always admired my Uncle Harry. It was a kind of diplomatic silver. Um, or uh, Also Cary Grant in North by Northwest, I think. And and this was when I was like twenty or something, and I thought that's for me. And um, <laughs> that silver hair, that's for me. Silver, silver hair, and I did. So I, I went in and did it work? No, it was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. For for a start, I my scalp was practically burned off with the bleach, and then they put the they put the silver stuff through, and it it was just blue. It just it it just looked blue, and I can remember I can remember being acutely embarrassed because. I sing in a church choir and I still do sing in a church choir. And I can remember showing up on the Sunday with this silvery, you know, this blue hair <laughs> and it clashing with my red choir robe and walking out in front of the congregation. And they're all thinking, oh, for God's sake, what's he done now? Um, so it lasted for, it was blue for a week. It was perfect for another week. It was silver. It was silver. And then after that, it just went, it, it just went Warhol blonde. <laughs> Were you obsessed with Frank Sinatra? Was there something about that? Because you've you've talked about, you know, how much better the pop music of the sixties and seventies was compared to today. Was that part of your obsession with No, with I wasn't I wasn't obsessed early. with Sinatra. I'd, the one I don't know if I really like Sinatra that much. I love his music, but as a persona I didn't really, you know, it's was, it was more like the later pop stars that I dug. But the one thing about Sinatra is I love the I love the idea of the Nelson Riddle arrangements. I love the idea that Sinatra could make three records a year while touring simply because he had this organization of songwriters and arrangers and he'd walk into a studio and everything would be ready and his interpretations were amazing. So that aspect I liked. 